A common configuration on your home router can expose your smart devices on the Internet. So, Mike, uh, I know I use a Chromecast at home, and I like how easy it is to send videos to it, uh, but apparently uh, it's really easy to send videos to a whole bunch of Chromecasts. Why don't you tell us about that? Yeah, so this one maybe is a little more in the uh, mischievous category than, than malicious that we uh, tend to talk about. But, yeah, these, these two hackers effectively hijacked you know, thousands of Chromecasts uh, really across the Internet. Uh, they were able to rename them and actually play some unauthorized video uh, that was promoting this YouTube star. Uh, they also put some information in there. It was basically informing the user that their device was exposed to the Internet and uh, really exposing some sensitive information about them. It's surprising to see about 70, 75,000 Chromecast devices are connected to the Internet, uh, which basically it actually it's supposed to reside inside the home networks. They took advantage of universal plug and play. So it wasn't actually any kind of exploit or vulnerability on the Chromecast itself, but some home routers, uh, most home routers actually have universal plug and play uh, enabled, but some of them tend to leak some of the internal devices and expose them uh, on the external interfaces, which is obviously not something you want for some of these smart devices we have that have absolutely no credentials. Yeah, so that's an interesting point. Um, now, how do people tell whether or not their Chromecasts are connected out to the internet? Because I'm, I'm fairly sure mine isn't. <laughs> Yeah, so it's it's really something you need to check on your, your home router, right? So we have, uh, you know, obviously our connection out to our ISPs, um, and we either use, you know, we can rent from the, the provider, we can set up our own, and, you know, if you log into uh, the management interface, you can see all these different configuration options, and typically there's a checkbox that says, you know, UPMP, or universal plug-and-play, and for the most part, uh, you know, unless you know what you're doing, you don't necessarily want that enabled. UPnP is one of those things that will kind of make changes automatically without user interaction. And in general, that's not a great idea. Just to add on that, uh, I think um, we, if we can disable the port forwarding for three or four ports, actually, they're saying that can minimize the risk, you know, exposing your Chromecast-based devices to the Internet. Okay. In addition to what Mike is telling about, you know, disabling the U U UPnP. Right. Well, it, it seems like most home users aren't, don't have a noose for port forwarding in the first place. I mean, most users aren't yeah. hosting things that need to be mm -hmm. internet accessible. So if it's something you could turn off, yeah. do it. Yeah. yeah and, and unfortunately, these devices come de by default with the UPnP enabled. Mm. And so. <laughs> that seems like a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, that, I was wondering before, you know, we got on this, the air, how 70,000 Chromecasts could possibly have been exposed to the Internet, right? Because you would think that's, that by default that wouldn't happen, but all right. Did you happen to look at how many views that particular video or channel had? Because I imagine by triggering these videos to play, you get views towards your account in YouTube. Yeah, that's a good question. Um... Uh, it, it, didn't, it didn't mention it, so I don't know if they, if they noticed any uptick in, in subscriptions or views. Um, they, they did note the primary objective was uh, really to um, uh, educate the public that, you know, these things are exposed and we're, we're kind of, you know, take, taking a light approach, but someone can come along later and really, um, you know, you have a real purpose with them. All right. They, they also noted that, you know, it, it did expose, I think the primary thing was they exposed some information. So you, you could also, you could play unauthorized videos. You could also reset the device to factory. You could reboot it. You could ask, you could see what Bluetooth devices were connected. So it, it did expose some other information that, um, that someone could take, take more advantage of. Oh, that, is, that is a little more scary. All right. Interesting. Okay. Thanks, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you.